Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 89 of FTB Revelations, where Dyer is still a little sick. Uh, but working on it. Working on it. Getting better. Uh, so today, my plan, uh, as, a, as you can see, is to plant carrots. Carrots sounds like a good time. Uh, that means adding a drawer to the network, though, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. With a void upgrade, probably. And a key in my offhand. Boop. Loving it. Uh, and maybe I'll snag a carrot just to help prime the drawer system. That should be nifty. And what we should be seeing is carrots growing down there. Nice. Yay for carrots. We can totally see some right there. See the carrots? All right, now harvest the carrots. You can do it, buddy. Hooray, you harvested. And that means carrots go in here? No, 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 no. They don't because they go in here first. Yes, excellent. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, so the reason I'm getting carrots going, obviously, uh, hinted at it last episode. Shouldn't be a big surprise. Um, I would like to get my culinary gen going. And what that means is some kind of carrot juice. I think that would probably be a smart move. Yeah, shouldn't be too bad at least. So we've got a net gain of carrots going on in here, which is always nice to see. Um, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> we should see all the things over here turn into carrots instead of canola. So as the canola grows, it'll transition to carrots. Beautiful. And then we'll void upgrade this guy. We did that already, so that means that we'll void any carrots that he don't need. Nice. All right. Cool. Cool. All right, so with that going, uh, we can now look into automating the culinary gen. So how am I doing on this stuff? Probably pretty bad. Yep, we've got one left. Uh, let's get a juicer, which is an easy craft. Well, not you. I want to do it in this one. Yeah. And then you can be carrot juice. Nice. Do we have any carrots yet, or are you still working over there? He's still working on his backlog. Not the end of the world. Let's see. I want to... <clears throat> yeah, see? 16 and 16. So we should be getting carrots now. Effectively. Hey, yeah, we're at two. Beautiful. Uh, and then, you know, very shortly we should be getting more and more. And we should have no problem. Because basically we need two carrots per minute in order to power this generator. Um, and I think two carrots per minute is... We just got four, so there you go. We shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> two carrots per minute should be more than enough to keep this generator going. Um, so does that mean we can get some juice? Yeah, if I put this in here. And I think we've officially reached the point where I need more interfaces. I think that's actually officially 100%. Uh, we're at that point. <coughs> so... Um, let's start off missing a juicer. Oh, right, I should be uh, <laughs> We're gonna make eight of these. And we're gonna add them down here. And then it's interface time, right? So he should on demand craft. Oh, that's right, we should get a crafting card in this thing. I don't think we ever, we haven't needed one yet, but we definitely need one. There you go. And now we should have an on-demand craft for carrots. It might wait until we have enough carrots to make all eight, uh, but that won't be a problem very much longer. And then let's get our item ducks out of here. And you will be insert on black. And you don't need an extract. So shortly, carrot juice should make its way in, right? Right. Don't make a liar out of me, system. Are you not connected over here? Oh, there's your problem. Now carrot juice? Yay! Sweet. All right. So with carrot juice being a thing that can run in there, uh, I think we should definitely take a moment to look at this setup and how can we improve him uh, in a intelligible uh, kind of way. Because my original plan, which was original, at the time of being original, was to build a, a, a matching structure over here. So like, you know, 
uh, one, two, three, four from the wall would be cool, right? And we could have a dense cable coming in here. Right, so you'd be one, two, three, four from the wall. One, two, three, four, and then the cable, one, two, three, four, and then the cable. Let's get some cabling and let me uh, start looking at the math for how much cabling we need. And then the other thing I need to look at is how I'm gonna actually pull this off. Cause I've already got a lot of stuff going on over here and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna manage that. You know what I mean? So there's a few options we could go with, right? Um, we have cable facades, but I would like cable facades with chiseled stone. So let's do that. Let's get some chiseled stone of the Celtic variety. Uh, that would just be this, but I want you to be this guy. Just get a few of them. Uh, and then we're gonna want more anchors, obviously. So, do I not have one of you? Well, we do now. Thanks, Chief. Lots of anchors. So what if we did this, right? What if we, boop, 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 broke you, okay? I'm like, why is this weird blue line showing up on my screen? Oh, right, it's the wireless connector. Go back five seconds and look at that and tell me if it didn't look weird until you knew for a second what it was, right? All right. So what I should be able to do in theory is um, remove you. What I'm gonna do is put a cable anchor here. No network power. Right. That's my wireless guy. Hang on. Reconnect you. Reconnect. Give me wireless access again. Cable anchor. Boop. Um, I'm gonna do this. Um, well, you should probably stay. And do that. Does that seem reasonable? I like that plan. And then we can anchor him all the way around here so that he doesn't connect to nothing. And then we can dense cable him like this and he should have zero channels in use at this point. And then facades for days. How great is that? Loving it. All right, so that's cool. So now we have that up and running in a somewhat intelligible way. Uh, you actually need to be connected here, right? So you actually do need things here, but that looks good. I needed that temporarily, that little anchor, or I didn't at all, I don't know. The point is no channels in use at the moment, uh, but if I were to get an interface and pop him on here, he would get a channel. And that looks pretty good. Beautiful. All right, let's get ready to remake one of these. All right, guys, we're back. So two things I want to point out. One, I built this off camera because you saw me build this one. Did you really want to see me build this one too? I figured you didn't. Uh, but what I did also do off camera is uh, clean up all these acceleration cards. Haha. <laughs> so I put acceleration cards in all the Mechler assemblers, which is cool because it means crafting is faster. Yeah. Um, that's good times. Um, and so we could leave it like that, or if we really wanted to go crazy, technically the best way to build this, uh, it's designed to have molecular assemblers on all outer edges. It's a lot of molecular assemblers and acceleration cards, though I do have a lot of molecular assemblers and acceleration cards. So I mean, like, it could be done, right? Like, in theory, what you're supposed to do is this. Okay. Um, and then also throw cards in all these guys. Um, and what this does is it makes it so that there's more places for the auto crafting crafting to happen, right? Because remember, what the, the way these things work um, is, I'll demonstrate here in a sec once I'm done with this, right? So the way these things work is, let's say um, this guy wants to craft um, external storage and destructors uh, and an igneous extruder all at the same time, right? normally he would be touching the molecular assembler that's on the other side of this interface, right? Um, 
And he would have to let one craft, and then when it's done, he could insert the recipes in the molecular assembler for the second one. And when that's done, he could insert the recipes for the uh, next craft, et cetera, et cetera. Um, having multiple molecular assemblers around here means that when you go to craft those things, um, it can place recipe one in here, recipe two in here, and recipe three in here all at the same time, uh, which just leads to even faster crafting, right? Which is, which is cool. Which is a good thing, right? Nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna try to get these guys all surrounded here. Uh, and we're just gonna see like how many molecular assemblers this costs. And I'm I'm about to decide that I need more than I have. Because I did not math out how many of these we need. And uh, I probably should have. And also this isn't the most exciting content in the world either. I have no uh, no delusions about that. Um, but understanding why it's a good thing to do is not a bad idea either. It just means it means faster crafting all around, right? That's realistically what it means. Now, we I don't think it'll hurt to double this up, right? Because these guys don't transmit channels. They just transmit uh, energy. So we should be cool to do this. It doesn't use a channel to have the molecular assemblers here, right? Um, so I think that's reasonable. So this is like... I built this upside down Christmas tree type structure, which again, if you just Google Christmas tree slash chandelier applied energistics, you'll find like a post on Reddit where somebody came up with this design and I like it. And I think that's, you know, a pretty cool design. So it's got like 200 more accelerator cards because you know, we're going to need them. Um, and this is like the true design. Having molecular assemblers on all outer interfaces means faster crafting all around, which is cool. And you'll notice I kind of um, have the right size room for that, right? Well, kind of cool. Except for the uh, middle. Technically, there should be one more in the middle here, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think it looks better and acts better like this. So no huge, no huge problems there. And having molecular assemblers and all these things is, is ideal as well. Cool. And a little tick accelerating is always a good idea. Whee! Cool. So that's... I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera. Uh, I'm just going to get more acceleration cards. As you can see, they're already crafting. Um, I'll go around the, the outer edge here, and then there's going to be a handful more when I get back. So, back in a moment. Hey, so just FYI, placing this guy here, not a good idea. Today I learned, actually, it's really not a good idea to do that. Alright, so I think that is your full Christmas tree design pattern, excluding this block space right here. So technically these need to be two blocks further apart if you want to have the full perfect pattern. But all we're really missing is one assembly on this guy, so it's really not a big deal. It's really not going to make, you're not going to notice ever. You'll never notice that you have not placed that there, realistically. It's all good. Cool. My accelerator's done yet? Yeah, they are. Nice. Lots and lots and lots and lots and really just a really large number. Uh, of accelerators. Not as big a number as last episode's number, but still a lot. Anyway, back to doing this off camera like I said I would. All right, now we're cooking. Man, ain't that cool looking. Yeah, it is. All right, so molecular assembler setup, good. We have lots more auto craftings than we will probably need throughout the series, but we're doing pretty good. Let's see, does this all go to the bottom? That would be awesome. Yeah, it did. Nice. They are all down there now. Well, that is cool. That is cool. I like that. All right, so uh, I'm gonna call that build complete. You guys like that? Does that look good? It looks nice and neat up here. Looks pretty neat down here. Uh, and now we can get back to culinary genning. All right, carrot juice good, carrots lots. I'm assuming we have like a ton of carrots at this point. My assumption was correct. So ender pearls in the ender generator last a minute and 20 seconds. I would call that more than reasonable. Uh, so that means that you, item conduit, can connect up here. And you will be insert on black. And that should be getting ender pearls. Nice. 
Um, what else do we got to do? Potions. We got to figure out potions, potions, potions. So I can use water bottles, and that's half a second. One second for mundane. Like, what's something that'll have a lot of seconds? I would like something that lasts more than a few seconds if I can. Like, more than 10 would be even better, right? Otherwise, we're going to have to do something with, like, just water bottles, which sounds terrible. 32 seconds sounds good. Lingering potion of invisibility. Let's note that one. I'm thinking, like, the more... I'm pretty sure the way this works is the more complex the crafting process, the the more... The more we're talking, right? Uh, in duration. The only problem is we have to find something that A, we have a lot of resources for, and B, uh, shouldn't be a big problem to make uh, and take less time to make than. What is misfortune? Dragon's breath, huh? That's a thing. That's because it makes it splash. Right. So you get luck with her. Okay, yeah. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. What did I do in the past with these? Did I just do water bottles or mundane potions or something like that? I probably did. A lot of these are modded potions, I think, because I don't recognize the names. So I guess anyone that's like 32 or 16 seconds wouldn't be terrible. All right. Let's try water bottles and see how bad of an idea that turns out to be, right? Um, because there's the tank from Ender.io. How fast do you do things, right? So if I got, like, a stack of bottles, for example. Um, and we had a sink. I want to see how fast I can make this run. Really, without the buckets of water? One of these days I'll automate that more properly. Than I have thus far managed to do. Right? So you come in here and do that for me. And if I had you with a fluid tank pulling, you don't pull that fast. However, I could speed this up with some conduits. Because really, we want this to pull as fast as possible, right? And I mean, we could even do it like on multiple sides and that would be cool. All right now, if I throw, I don't know. See, you don't stack water bottles and that's the trick, right? And them in a potion generator lasts for half a second. So what we would have to do is insert and extract more quickly than that. Now that said, just for giggles, let's relocate this. Translocators are pretty quick, right? They are at that, aren't they? They are at that. Um, Because what we want to do is get the empty potions out, right? So we want the fluid transposer here. And you're going to do that. And then we're going to want probably a buffer chest. And then what we're going to want is another translocator set up. Right, so you're gonna do that, you're gonna do that, and you're gonna do that. So the problem is, is you're not filling bottles fast enough. See how it's not filling bottles fast enough? Okay, so you need to fill bottles fast enough, or whatever we're doing needs to fill bottles fast enough. Um, so bottles of water, the other way we can approach this is a fluid transposer, right? Uh, let's try that, bad boy. So I would like two of you and one of you and this guy, right? And instead of you, which everybody's like, oh no, we're gonna do this, 
right? So you're going to be blue on that side and orange on that side, right? And then we'll also want the sink and we're going to want a kit. How come you don't know how to make these? What did I break? What did I break? Why are you only so many channels? I done broke something, folks, and I don't know what. How come you're less channels than you should be? You're not making any sense. Does having that there be a problem? Actually, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, that, that's better. Ish. Because everybody's groovy, right? In terms of channelness. That did boost up the channels a little bit, didn't they? That got me up to 32 on that side. Maybe he just doesn't like having things there. That's weird, but okay. What don't you like? What don't you like? What don't you like? What am I touching that I shouldn't be touching? There's not like a cable in the wall here or something funny like that, right? What are you touching that you don't appreciate? Because you're at 26 channels. Um, and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Hmm. Weird. Uh. Because you guys are behaving, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, what if we removed this guy for a minute? Just because. Where are you at now? 26 still? Give him a second just to recalculate, just in case. But yeah, that didn't actually seem to do anything. Do I have two TNT recipes? How did I do that? I don't even want to know how I did that. Notice how I'm not fixing it either. Um, all right, back in a sec once I figure out where I derped. Must be somewhere, right? All right, we're back. So basically what I hooked up is a fluid transposer here. So we're piping the fluids in from the sink. I've got a Flux Networks guy powering him as well. So I can do that to get him stuff, right? Now he's definitely not keeping up. That said, I haven't upgraded him yet. Boom. And boom. So now hopefully that means he will be able to keep up. If we can generate a water bottle more than every half a second, which it looks like we are now doing based on how long the water bottle's staying here. Right? Does that look pretty good? Is that flickering? I feel like it might be. There might be like a, a tick where... No, he's running constantly, right? Yeah, dudes, I believe that we're in good shape here. I'm liking this. I'm only concerned about these Endermites. What do I do about them? That might be cool. That might be cool. Because he consumes the water bottle, right? And then keeps running. That is nifty. Okay, I'm gonna call that a win, right? I'd say so. So we're gonna make it redstone on, right? So he's running now and he's got a water bottle in him. That's cool. That means that he is queuing up the next water bottle, which means he should run continuously, which to me means that we're winning. All right, that's a cool way to do it. Is that how I've done it in the past? I don't know. It's been a while, I think, since I've done Rainbow Gen, so I don't really remember what 
what I've done. Now, slimy generators requires milk. That's right. Requires milk. Okay. And slime of some kind. Um, now, we've got some slime, right? Uh, now, we can get this. Sticky ore, huh? That doesn't have any actual crafting. Ha <laughs> ha I wonder if slime balls can be made through woot. Probably, I would think, right? Totally. Could totally woot that up if we needed to. Okay. Just checking to see if there's like a cool way to get this stuff. So this guy, if we did slime saplings with Phytogrow, which we're already automating, would be an approach. We get 18 per operation. That's not bad. That is not bad. That's a way to do it, right? And then we can turn this into what? Can't you turn back into slime balls? You can, four. This guy turns into four slime balls. That's not bad. That's a way. Okay. But let's work on the milk bucket first, right? Because you totally need a milk bucket. Uh, so, milk in a jar? Dude, cow in a jar? Cow in a jar? Yeah, I think so. Cow in a jar. And milk jar. So I believe cow in a jar is what we want. I'm just concerned because... Are we going to get a bucket of milk every 24 seconds out of cow in a jar? That's the real question. Uh, and the answer is, oh, we're going to find out, though. So we have to get an anvil and drop it on top of a cow that's standing over a milk jar. Reasonable. So to make cow in a jar, we need a bucket of milk. And we're going to want a lasso. Do we have golden lassos? Uh, we have one with a villager golem in it. Okay, cool. Do I have a vanilla crafting table around here somewhere? Okay, give me this many. Thank you. Come here, Mr. Cow. Let's find a cow. There should be one somewhere in this world. Cows. Where are you, animals? There's a cow. Hello, sir. Let me borrow you for a moment. All right, so first off, milk bucket, right? Hello. Mm. Moo. Milk jar. I never knew if you could use a slightly damaged anvil or not. And um, to be clear, we do have 44,000 iron ingots. So I'm not going to sweat the iron to make a new anvil. You. You. And... Boop. Hello, cow in a jar. Provides milk to recipes. So he's producing milk at a rate that looks like it's less than a bucket. Doesn't that look like less than a bucket every 24 seconds? It does. Now, I was hopeful. I really was. Let's get a new cow. Now there's one mod somewhere that I know existed at one point, I don't even know if it exists anymore, that limited how frequently you could milk a cow. And I'm hoping that is no longer the case. Now the other thing we can do, ooh, I got an idea. Mine factory reloaded. Is my, oh, what's in here? Uh, Industrial foregoing, oh my goodness. Being sick, my brain just reverted five years back into the past. <laughs> um, bah, 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 bah. Animal feeder, plant sower, plant gatherer, potion brewer, uh, water condensator, animal rancher. You. How fast? 
will you get? Do 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 do. do. You know how to make plastic? You do. Give me a hundred, please. How fast will you make stuff? Little testing right now. Okay, we're gonna boop you, and then we're gonna want a flux network. How fast will you make milk? Is the question that we have. More than a bucket every 24 seconds. I'm down with that. You're with me, kids. All right, so you're gonna have to chill down here, Mr. Cow. Okay, because you're gonna want the animal rancher to be here. And then we're gonna want another fluid transposer here. Because we always need these things. A stack at a time is not a bad idea. Okay, you're going to accept from the bottom. You're going to output out the top. Actually, you're going to be in and out the top. And you, item conduit, with filters and a bucket. Okay, so you're going to... How did I do that? There you are, okay. Uh, on the north... You will extract on brown, insert on green. And your extract will be filtered to an empty bucket. And you will be always active. And on the down, you will insert on brown, extract on green. And your filter will be a milk bucket. And that should be cool, right? I'm going to let you be always on. I'm going to give you some slime balls for a minute. Hello, visual bug or weirdness? Okay. Um, then you, sir, will rotate this way. We will have um, the ender fluid conduit. If we have a facade available, that would be cool. I want to have it be a full block, if I may. Hoping I've never done it this way. Thinking I've never done it this way. Not 100% sure. You guys will be sure to let me know, right? Dire, this is how you always do it. Well, if it is, let me know. I forget. And then Ender Fluid Conduit down will be Extract, not Insert. And then you're getting milk, right? So watch this. You ready? I'm going to put the empty bucket in. It's going to go in. It's going to get filled with milk. And then it's going to be transferred up here. By the way, you need some conduiting. And then the bucket will go in. It will kick off the generator. The empty bucket will be pulled out and refilled and put right back in. Ready? Go. Boop. 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 Cool? I think that's a win. I think that's a win. I think that works. Now we just need slime balls in here. We need to keep you stocked with slime balls and insert on black on south will be nothing up insert black not extract <coughs> excuse me warned you guys i was sick and now you should be ready to go with redstone on hey look at that slime balls 
Beautiful. I think that's complete, y'all. The only thing we haven't done yet is automate the slime ball production with the phytogenic insulator, which we can totally do. Shall we turn it on? You guys ready? Rainbow generator activating in three, two, one, go. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at it go. Look at it go. And you are outputting 20 million RF a tick. You might be struggling to output the proper amount of RF a tick. The specter of death will arrive in 60 seconds. I don't know what that means. I legitimately do not know what that means, and I'm a little concerned about it. You know what I should have done is turned this thing back to the way he was. You should be in blocking mode, and you should be off. What's the specter of death? Anybody know? I don't know, but he's going to be here in 60 seconds. Ah. Ah. Where's my draconic bindy thingy? Am I not seeing you, Draconic Bindy thingy? Turn you off for a sec. Wow, that is serious business right there. They all have a lot of RF to transfer. Um, oh, did we kill our cow? Ouch, we totally killed our cow. Poor cow. That might need to be lower. All right, here's the deal. We're well past the wrapping up point and my voice is tolerance. I need to stop talking. So we're going to wrap up the episode here. The rainbow generator works. We need to tweak the energy output uh, so that it makes sure that all 25 million are going. We also have to make sure our cow doesn't die. And then the final piece will be getting slime balls automated. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll take care of that next time. Take it easy.